Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Out of War. Now, this was the game where last time I borrowed a billion quid, spent it on all this machinery, and then built this mega conveyor, which leads a long, well, a long, long, long way. And we found out last time it doesn't even work. Uh, but if we just follow this through the trees, <laughs> down here, along here, and out this end, this is where I found, look at that. Look at that lovely sight. That is lithium, uh, which is actually the most valuable ore in the game. So that's why I built this massive mile-long convey belt. Uh, but if you watched the last episode, you'll see I had a bit of trouble making this. Mainly because if you want to rotate these conveyor belts, you've got to you got to do that, which rotates the camera as well. Now, I had a lot of comments telling me if I want to rotate the building parts without rotating the camera, I can just change the key bindings. Well, this is the key bindings page, and I'm not going to lie, I've seen architectural drawings that make more sense than this. Oh, there actually can i just r and t maybe hang on have i just figured oh i've just figured it out i've just figured it out <laughs> conveyor nader but first a word from today's sponsor architecture yes the architectural school and society asked for short has paid me a huge sum of money to tell you to give up engineering and go study architecture and gotcha i wouldn't really advertise something i didn't think was a good product which is why today's actual sponsor is raid shadow legends the first game to bring a true console level experience to your phone there's now over 600 champions blessed with unique skills to help build your team but these are my top three favorite champions number three is spirit host while she only has one eye she handily removes and gives protection from debuffs number two is high katan the best beginner and mid game champion with excellent axe skills Ooh. But number one is Executioner. He knows that necks are for architects, which I personally find very, very relatable. This month, a brand new faction, the Sylvan Watchers, has released with some amazing new champions, plus loads of events and a new season of the Forge Pass. Also, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get exclusive rewards for Raid right now. So click the link in my description or scan my QR code and new players will get unique bonuses worth $30, a free epic champion Aina, 200,000 silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and one ancient shard. And all of this treasure will be waiting for you up here. So let's be grateful that Raid sponsored today's video and it wasn't architecture. And let's get back to today's video. Anyway, the other thing people told me was the snap. Do you remember last time I was, I was having trouble because like I was trying to place these next to each other and they were snapping like all sorts of weird directions. Well, anyway, apparently I wasn't meant to start from that end, like all the way in the distance up there. I was meant to start building from this end and then they snap how they're meant to, apparently. So let's just check. We've got three conveyors on us we got six upward conveyors let's see if i if i click on these okay we can smash these out of existence and let's just check in our inventory now yes okay we are collecting them okay i'm going to i'm just gonna run through and basically undo like like five hours work all just being obliterated before our eyes uh, although actually perhaps i should check the comments didn't lie before i get too far yeah, I think that would make sense. So, oh my goodness, what is... Like, my digger just destroyed my conveyor. <laughs> Did you see that? For some reason, my, my excavator just went mental and it landed on the conveyor, which meant it got destroyed. Anyway, let's build a brand new one. So, we'll rotate it around there and we're going to try and aim for the right direction. So, I reckon that looks pretty good. Okay, so we'll try and plonk that like there. And then apparently, why did that just blow up? Apparently, according to the comments, all I gotta do is come over this side and then, oh, it does, it does snap. It snaps. Oh my goodness. Oh, I could have saved hours and hours of work. <laughs> oh, anyway, at least this should actually work now. And then we can actually do some mining and we can try and become a billionaire again. Because if you look in the top right, I've spent a lot of money at the last episode. Oh no, I just, built, I just built it on my head. I'm trapped. I have a conveyor belt for a head now. Anyway, we've got to be fairly quick about this because the longer we're, we're not making money, the more interest we're paying and then the more money we're losing. But yeah, so you can see this is my... <laughs> Oh goodness, this is my financing. There's there's a lot of red on here. I have spent a lot since I took out all those loans. Is that right? Total daily loans upkeep 17 million. I'm spending 17 million a day on my loans. Okay, yeah, we, we really need to speed this up. Thankfully, the snap makes this a lot easier. Yeah, and to be fair, destroying my old ones is actually really, really cool to watch. Like they just get obliterated. It's awesome. Boosh, 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 boosh. And I tell you what, I lined that up pretty perfectly. Look at that. If I just remove those two old ones. Oh my god, the line's perfect. Look at that. I'm actually a genius, I reckon. Like, even so far as the number of conveyors.
conveyors. It just works. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know if you saw that. But if I if I try and build one of these, uh, they literally, they have they have contact. Oh, God. Right. Okay. I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to do a bit of, a bit of batting. Ready? Boosh. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell, that nearly crushed me. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to lie. This is actually quite fun. Give me give me a few seconds just to have a little play with this. I know I'm a child, but hey-ho. Josh! Boosh! Boosh! <laughs> Get back. Get back, everyone. <laughs> ah, ah, a little bit. Right, well, I won't lie. That's pretty fun. Um, But yeah, more important issues. Our conveyor is now set up. Um, I do, I think I need, I need a way to get on it easily just so I can run back. So let's just head inside where I've accidentally built a conveyor. Apparently, uh, literally can't get past it. Let's just, let's just demolish that. Boosh. Ow, my face. Shards of metal in the eye. But uh, we got some steel stairs. So I'll grab some of those. Oh, we've also got explosive. We got TNT. We got... Ampho, Dynamex, and Rudux. Now, I don't know which of these will be best. I assume, do I need a detonator for all of them? I think we'll grab like one of each and we'll sort of see which one's best. Uh, but first, oh god, <laughs> the mess I have caused. Honestly, this is what happens when you let someone borrow a million quid without any background checks. But yeah, let's build our stairs sort of like up here, I guess. All right, so now we can run up here. We can jump onto a conveyor. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. And then we can run all the way back. Look at this. Look how straight it is. All right, so if I just build a big hopper down here. Now, annoyingly, this won't snap because it only snaps one way. I mean, not really sure why it's done like that. But um, we've got that, which I think I think that's pretty close. That should work. So back in our excavator. And I'm hoping we can just do a bit of digging. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's nearly a full scoop. So then we just bring that over there. Let's just check the... Oh, no. We're miles away. We're miles... I think I might have to track forwards. Oh, it's quite annoying. Like, they, they don't have much grip. Can you see our excavator sliding? Like, I can put the parking brake on and we're still just sliding. I mean, we're barely on a slope. I should not be sliding here. Come on. Anyway, if we just plop that over there drop that in and oh blooming out so yeah if you if you even touch the hopper with these uh it does destroy everything i think actually no i thought there might be a setting to turn it off it might be it might be that button either way that's now demolished and we don't even have a hopper in our inventory that gets completely destroyed <laughs> oh cheers game and obviously i can't snap this direction but i'll try and plonk that there All right and then we'll go again so nice big scoop and then just shove that on the conveyor conveyor yes yes oh it looks like it's traveling it's traveling up the conveyor you can see it go is it gonna go up the hill <gasps> i think it is yes it's going it's going we might actually make money right very misty right now the weather's come in so we can't really see but i mean if we just keep an eye on the top right perhaps the money will ding yes we just delivered 1.3 tons of ore so if we just do that a few more times there's one lead grab another scoop plop that on oh yeah look four grand we got there there's another load that one completely missed because i've slid <laughs> oh look at that what a mess look 5600 quid we are actually making money now and not only that the sun has come out as well lovely anyway you can see on the ground the dark patch that's where the lithium is so i'm sort of on the edge there so i'm gonna go around the other side but yeah if i sort of work from there get a nice scoop thank you very much oh look at that that is a very full load uh, we are gonna have to wheel this closer unless i build more conveyors but uh, we'll just spin around oh god my tracks are quite close to the edge go a little bit closer and then drop that on there lovely just move slightly so we don't fall in all right so there's another pretty full load so we'll just plop that on there love to see it oh man are those conveyors changing color that means money so spin around one more time. Do a bit more digging. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Seven grand that time. So we'll drop more ore on. And then we can just repeat that for ages. And we should start to make a profit, I hope. I mean, I do sort of want to head along here following the ore. Can I outrun the ore? Oh, it's a tight race. It's a tight race. Yes. Oh, I'm sort of ahead. No, I'm not. Oh, it's so much faster than me up hills. Uh, but yeah, I just want to check this end because I'm a little bit concerned we might be missing and perhaps making a mess. And we wouldn't want that now, would we? Uh, so yeah, looking at this, looks like, yeah, we're not making mess. So we're just making, we're making some fat cash. As can be seen here, we got so many green numbers, but then the daily loans upkeep of 17 million comes out. We're going to need a better way of doing this, I think. Because adding up those few thousands minus 17 million is probably still minus 17 million quick mess uh, so yeah i think for now i might try and we'll come over to the bank i might take out a yeah we'll take out a 20 mil loan because that will cover a day's worth of interest rates <laughs> 
Um, and then that day will allow us to sort of have a little play with uh, the dynamite and stuff. Uh, so I sort of need, I sort of need a, I need an area. Maybe we'll do like down here. So you can see I've just laid TNT down there. I assume if I come over this way, do I then lay a detonator? So you can sort of see there's a detonator on the floor. So that is there now. So boosh. Oh, frame rate did not like that. Oh no. Has that broken the game? How? Oh no, there it goes. Oh man, that was a huge explosion. Wait, what? Did that make ground. <laughs> I feel like that crater actually created earth. I don't think that's how this is meant to work. Anyway, that was quite a big explosion. Shall we try one of these other ones? Let's try Anfo. So we'll plunk that one down there. We'll press left mouse to detonate. Oh my goodness, the frame rate does not like that at all. What? That made even more <laughs> uh, I'm quite confused. Uh, is that bigger than the dynamite as well? Potentially. Next up, we got Dynamex. That's gone there. Wait for the frames. There they go. Oh, I feel like that one did actually make a dent. Potentially. No, actually, I'm, I'm not convinced it did, actually. Uh, finally, a bit of RDX. And for this one, I might actually shove it, like, under my vehicle and just see what happens. So that's now under there. So let's see if we detonate. Is that goodbye, truck? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, no, this has been paused for quite a long time now. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Blimey, I nearly, I nearly nodded off then. Uh, look how... <laughs> Look how much ground that made. Now, that did actually move a little bit as well, by the way. Which sort of gives me an idea. Yes, shopkeep. I will take all of your explosives, please. So down there, you can see we have 25 sticks of RDXs. I mean, there's actually there's actually three sticks on each one. So technically, 75 sticks. Uh, for scientific purposes, we are going to reverse this back on top. There we go. Perfect. And then we're going to say goodbye frames. It was nice knowing you. So boosh. There it goes. Oh, that was it. Oh, look, all the dirt is in chunks. It just terminated towing into more ground. What? <laughs> look how tall it's getting. <laughs> yeah, so explosives actually make dirt in this game, which sort of gives me an idea, actually. Yes, hello, shopkeep. I'm back for some more RDX, please. Kind of annoying I have to drag them over each time. It would be a lot easier if I could just click on these. Oh, no, the game's crashed. The game's crashed. <laughs> I got a nice amount of RDX. I just wanted a nice amount of dynamite to go with it. Uh, turns out this game is using quite a lot of RAM up. 99% of my RAM. So annoyingly, we might have to end task on that one. Don't worry, we're back buying again. So I'll just spend another 20 minutes filling my inventory with TNT. Few moments later. All right, so there's 200 grand's worth of dynamite. You can actually only stack 99 up on top of each other. Yeah, but I'm going to do another stack of the RDX as well. I'm actually looking at my task manager this time. We seem to be okay. We're just using one gigabyte of RAM at the moment. So I assume until we actually press detonate, RAM should be fine. Oh no, no. It's just jumped up to 27 gig again. It's crashed again. Can you only hold, I think you can only hold a certain amount in your inventory. Otherwise the game crashes. Oh, I guess I can now clickbait the title. I used so much dynamite that I ended reality or something. Anyway, hello shopkeep, me again. Yep, more dynamite please. 346 minutes later. 97, 98, 99. Okay, so now we're going to head back and we're going down our slide over to the lithium pit because I have a plan. Right, let's lace this place in TNT. I have a feeling this is going to be a bad idea. Anyway, it's actually it's actually really hard to click the TNT thing. Right, there you go, destiny. I'm not looking at it. So it has exploded behind me. Oh, God. And yeah, oh, look at look at all that. So the theory here is we have unlimited lithium supply. Oh, wow. It actually it actually seems to be working. Look at that. Look at that. Right. I tell you what, let's just double check. Let's jump back in here. So is this actually lithium? If we grab a scoop, plonk it on there. Top left. We all delivered $10. 10? And there's a better way to check what resource this is. If we grab this guy over here. Right. I've attached the drill, so we'll just squeeze past that excavator. And when we place this down, it should tell us what it is. It's, oh, no, it's blasted rock. It's not lithium. And yeah, then the lithium is deeper. Oh, no. So we haven't made lithium, sadly. We've just made blasted rock. I mean, blasted rock is worth more than just dirt. Um, so I guess instead then, maybe if I were to head back up there. I was sort of hoping running on the direction of the conveyor might make me run faster, like those things at airports. Anyway, we'll buy the RDX this time, because I think this did bigger explosions, if I'm honest. Well, not a bigger explosion, but it gave us more dirt. <laughs> 
I really shouldn't be using explosives to make dirt in this game, but uh, okay. All right, and after enough negative numbers that my accountant is going to have a heart attack, we're ready for phase two of my plan. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the RTX. I'm going to shove a couple down there. And then what I'm hoping is when I explode this, boosh. Bo oh God, that... <laughs> I destroyed some conveyor. Can you see the dirt is going up? Now, if that if that raises up, then the theory is perhaps I'll be able to like explode dirt straight into the cell pond ore. So we've got a few more sticks of explosive. We'll then detonate. It's destroying my conveyors. Uh, but look at this. Look at this. So if if that falls into the thing, I'm going to get paid. Yes, look, we delivered 26 tons of ore. So detonate again. Boosh. I mean, to be honest, I feel like I should probably just detonate one at a time. Will that be enough? Anyway, that's another 167 quid. Then using just one explosive, that's gonna... Yeah, I can see some falling in. That sounds like money to me. $69. Nice. So I guess we just keep building and we keep... We're going to keep getting money, I guess. So how much that time? 90 quid. I'll tell you what, considering each one of these explosives costs five grand, I'm not too sure how profitable this is, but I sure do want to see how tall this mountain will get. Yes, grow my pretty. Grow my pretty. I mean, it's definitely getting tall. <laughs> Look how much dirt there is. I'm going to need like a staircase to get up here soon. Anyway, I'm going to do this for a few more hours and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Uh, wish me luck. I feel like my computer's definitely going to need it. All right, so I've just brought some more stairs and stuff. So if we... <laughs> If we take a look out the window now, it's pretty dark out there. Now, there's a good reason for that. Um, if we head outside past the mess of D9 dozers, uh, you'll see this. And if we look up, oh my goodness. Now, I do feel like the shape is very, it's very um relevant to the channel. Let's put it that way. Uh, so let's just head this way. We'll go up these stairs that I that I built. Do you need to add one more bit of stair just so we can get to the top? Um, yeah, look at look at this. <laughs> look at the view of all my dozers, all my conveyors. They were literally we're taller than that radio station so <laughs> Uh, since I'm here, I may as well do one more just to show you the how I did this. So basically, just plop one explosive there. Oh, balls. Fall all the way down. Run back up the stairs. Hit the detonate button. And then wait about a minute, maybe two minutes for the frame rate to catch up. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, maybe three minutes then. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Uh, and then it blows up the stairs, which means you have to go get muni stairs every single time. And yeah, anyway, let's, let's just delete everything everything so delete all these stairs it looks like i'm running away from explosion stairs because yeah, then we can really see what mess we made there's actually there's a detonator under there somewhere that's where my original detonator was it got so buried uh, yeah annoyingly trying to snap my staircase back up to this one uh, not the easiest thing but yeah oh man this it's monumentous and the best thing is whilst you're working over here you can see exactly where your base is <laughs> Because there's a giant mound of dirt up there. Anyway, we will head back towards it because I still have things I want to do over here. First off is going to the vehicle store and then testing out this thing. Now, someone in the comments reckoned I could probably use it to build roads a bit easier. So I feel like that's probably worth a try. So purchase. Yes, please. So yeah, it's sort of like it's got like a almost like a plow underneath. So I'm hoping we can use this to like level the land. And won't lie though, it doesn't look the most heavy of vehicles. So whether it will work well, I'm not sure. Uh, we've also got a bit of a traffic jam to try and get out now especially with that blooming mountain in the way <laughs> Uh, but let's go have a plate. All right, so let's get in this thing. So we can move the blade up and down. Oh, we can we can slide it left and right. That's cool. We've also got left and right. We can give a bit of super elevation to our road. Uh, first off, I guess we gotta we gotta decide where we're gonna road to. I'm actually I'm gonna go to that HUD marker. I'm gonna build a road there, a four kilometer long road. I'm sure I won't regret this. So I guess as we're driving along, yeah, I just do that level. So oh. God quite a lump there. No, I sort of feel like this is the wrong tool. Like, I think this is more to just move dirt around than, yeah, than to actually flatten anything. Now, as I said before, never seen one of these. I'm, I don't know if they have them in the UK. I will not lie to you. But for now, let's jump out. We'll we'll leave that going that direction, I guess. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, and I guess we'll try and use this dozer. I mean, it's struggling quite significantly. I mean, it doesn't help. Like, once you make your path, all the dirt behind, like, pops back up. So we've made huge lumps behind us. Anyway, 10 minutes later, we've got like 300 meters. That doesn't seem very far. Anyway, perhaps now we can put this thing in the road. Then is this going to smooth the road? It might do. It actually might do. Uh, the trouble is, I 
think I think rocks and trees have spawned on my on my path. Yeah, because look, you can see the dirt either side. There's now there's now rocks and trees in the way. Who <laughs> came up with this? How have they grown so quickly? Anyway, I will say this is smoothing the ground quite nicely. Barely impressed. But yeah, the tree growth in this place is insane. I literally can't see where my road was. I can I can see ahead. Like there's the dozer, but there's so many trees in the way now. Like look, it's like it's been there for years. I mean, they're disappearing now. Now I'm walking into them. It was like proper surrounded by overgrowth. And if we go back, we can't really call this a smooth road, can we? I think this is a fail. This is a massive fail. And we're nearly a hundred million quid down from where we started the day. I mean, we do now have that to show for ourselves. So that's that's quite good. Um, I am actually a little bit tempted to see if I were to drive this into that, uh, what would happen? Only one way to find out, I guess. So here we go. Boosh. Oh, it's going up. It's, go it's going up. Oh, wow. It's really, it is really going up. Oh, what? Am I I'm digging like a cave? I've proper dug a hole through it. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, well, um, I guess that's that's what happens if you try and do that then. I will say, though, it shows how structurally sound that tower was. Very well engineered by myself, if I say so myself. I am also wondering, if I were to reverse a haul truck up that path I just made, as in this path here, will that fill the back at all? What if I try and... Mm, not quite. Not quite. Man, what a mess. What a mess. Anyway, one more thing to do. Now, we learned earlier, if we buy loads and loads of dynamite we can at least get 99 on us before the game crashes i think the number was about 140 before the game crashed so let's just get up to 100 i mean i feel like the game has crashed like my mouse is moving but nothing else is if i wait i think it does catch up with me so that number's 14 there you go 23 now so we'll just add a quick 99 into there or well, i might have actually crashed it this time yeah we're using 26 gigabyte of ram apparently so end task again all right i've reloaded i've got good and bad news bad bit of news is the feature we added to our monument is now gone as is the road we built over that way now, the good news is there's just been a brand new patch released which adds a brand new explosive draymite i imagine that's got something to do with my buddy dre so let's buy a few of those and i guess We'll plant a stick of Draymite over there. So let's let's plonk a detonator down and then give it an explode. Man, it is a lot easier to detonate explosives on Timberborn. I'll tell you that. Right, boost. Oh, okay, Dev, that's way better. That is way better. I mean, I won't be able to make one of them anymore, but that's cool. So what if, for example, we were to shove three of them down? Is the hole going to be any bigger? Oh, 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 wow. Okay, I think we can see where this is going. Oh, no, I added too many. The game's crashed again. What I'm wondering, am I capped on how many things you can buy in the shop, like, all together? Right, so I've got 20. That's... <laughs> That's a hundred grand's worth, by the way. I did just want to check that the other explosives, the Dynamex, which we'll put there, and the TNT, which we'll put there. I just want to check that the dev hasn't changed how they explode. So let's detonate those. Yes, yeah, so they're same old. They still they still produce dirt, which is just random. So what I was thinking of doing, I've got 20 of these Drainamites. So if I just fill this hole up and then I, I sort of want to see if I then go and grab some more, will that still crash the game? I'm also adding them slower as well. I feel like I was adding them too quickly. Like the game couldn't keep up with me. I'm too fast for its own good. All right, we're on 12. We're getting there. I'm keeping an eye on my task manager, keeping an eye on the ramp. Yeah, to be honest then, I think it was probably my fault. I think I was just adding them too fast. Oh no, it's just crashed again. We got to 28 and it crashed. It's now using 28 gigabytes of RAM. All right, okay, let's just do 25 at a time. I think that's sort of the limit. So first off, we make the hole. Fire in the hole. Lovely. Then we fill this with 20 explosives. Then we buy 20 more. Because the theory here is it's crashing because I'm buying more than 20 in one go. So I'm hoping if I just keep planting these down, then I will be able to just keep adding to the pile of explosives. Wait, why do they why do they keep getting buried? Oh, I keep smoothing the ground. How do I unsmooth the ground? So third time buying 20 dynamites. This will be 60 in total. And we know if it crashes now, we know there's just a problem. You can't buy more than 60 explosives. Or like there's a there's a max limit, and I've already done it with all the explosives and 
conveyors I bought earlier. But if it does get to 20 without crashing, then I think the limit is just how many you can buy in one go. So buying 20 at a time seems to be working. And if I count while clicking, it means I won't smooth the ground. So, so I guess we'll just do this for another few hours. All right, so after many, many, many game crashes and lots of greasing of nipples, uh, we're finally at the point where I can't really buy any more explosives without the game crashing. I think I can move about five over. Yeah, but if you look, look, I'll drag this, I'll drop it there, and then we'll wait until it goes in. There we go. There it is. So yeah, game really isn't happy now. I've only got 835 million left. <laughs> I've nearly spent 200 million on this place. And what do I have to show for it? Not a lot. Oh, and then a door opened into my face and the game crashed. Nope, we're good. We're good. We're out. Although the game did take another 2 million off me. <laughs> Why do you keep doing this to me, game? Right, anyway, so this is what we have to show for all of our hard work. I mean, it really doesn't look like much, but that's about two and a half hours worth of work. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the times I did buy dynamite and then the game crashed. So I guess that's not completely true. But yeah, let's just one, two, three, four, five. I mean, I don't really know why I did this. So I feel like as soon as I press detonate, the game's probably just going to crash. I mean, if I can't even buy it, how am I meant to detonate it? And but yeah, are you guys ready for this? Because I certainly am. Now, I feel like I want a good vantage point. So I've come up to the top of my thing. We'll place our detonator about there. And then as it says, press left mouse to detonate. So let's what, see what happens when we explode. It's probably about 300 sticks of Drainamite or Draymite. I tell you what, I, I feel like I deserve some Mapmite after this. Anyway, there it goes. <laughs> let's see how big... Was that it? Oh, I don't see that was actually it. That was it. All right, let's go have a look. Oh, that was an anticlimax. I mean, technically it destroyed reality because I can no longer save the game or buy anything or anything like that. But that hole is pathetic. All right, I'm going to drive this into it, but I just want to I just want to lower check out the claw at the back. We are ripping the ground now. I tell you what, that works really well. Oh, the holes the holes over that way they. Yeah, typically the claws on the back, that's to uh like to defrost the land. So basically it's like if it's like frozen like permafrost, you can just like rip it open so that um <laughs> straight into the hole yeah, so that the sun can reach like the lower layers sort of like plowing i guess and farming um however in this game as we know the dirt sort of turns back into ground so i don't really know why that is a thing in this game but yeah that was i had i had fun i spent about five hours on this video but achieved very 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 little uh, except for one thing i just come into my office take a 42 million pound loan that nearly crashed the game look how long it takes <laughs> What's going on? I think I borrowed so much money I broke reality. Blimmin' out. But yeah, thankfully, I am a billionaire again. And the company is very healthy. Right? Peace, love. And I spent way too long playing this and it really hurt me. But...